Jai Gurudev, as we know, intuition is one of the most vital abilities to have, whether it is for innovation or for daily decisions or when one is at a crossroads in life. The art of living intuition process, Pragya Yoga, helps children and teens to access and utilize their intuition in various ways. Gurudev, we have some questions first on intuition with your permission. Mm -hmm. They are intuition teachers. They are stalwarts. Yeah. <laughs> Gurudev, we are joined by a lot of intuitive children in the audience today. Oh. And their parents, as well as teachers of the Art of Living intuition process. <laughs> their kids are able to do amazing things with the blindfold on and it's very exciting when they do something like reading or playing a game or playing cricket. But what role does it have beyond that? Is there something more? Can they apply it in their day-to-day -day life as well? Oh, that itself is saying that they are able to utilize another faculty of their brain, of their consciousness. That's a great. Beyond that, what is that one is expecting? They are able to do something which normal other children are not doing, have not been doing for ages. And then you can also see that their grades in their exams are much better. Retention or memory power has increased and their learning ability has increased. They are able to learn much faster and much quicker, isn't it? Haven't they reported? Parents have reported that our children are able to learn but much faster now. So these are all um, abilities which, is, which has no match. Yeah. Gurudev, in our research studies on intuition, we have consistently seen that blind children who are fully blind since birth start reading colors, uh, start recognizing colors, reading numbers, shapes, languages after intuition. Are these stored in our brain as past life impressions? Because it is difficult to understand how somebody can recognize something which they have never seen. I don't say this is something related to past life and all, but this indicates that your consciousness is much powerful, much more than what you think or understand about it. We have not understood our consciousness at all. There is a lot more to understand about our consciousness. Hmm? You know, in the ancient scriptures, Upanishad says, the consciousness or the Shiva, the divinity inside you can see without eyes, can hear without ears, can touch without the hands or skin, can move everywhere without legs. <laughs> so consciousness can do all the functions of the body without really using our physical um, apparatus for that uh, activity. This is the clue they have given. Pashyatya chakshu shunotya karna. Pashyatya chakshu. Without eyes it can see. It can hear without the ears. And that is the glory of the consciousness. The self in you. And a small indication of it is then the dream state of consciousness. In the dream you see, you hear, but there you are not using your eyes or your ears. So that gives a little clue. So to understand our consciousness, we have to know all the three states. And that which is the basis of all three states, the fourth state of consciousness too. Waking, dreaming, sleeping, and then the transcendental consciousness. Gurudev, a pure intention with faith, a sankalpa with faith in the higher power always comes true. How is this different from an intuitive thought which also comes true? In sankalpa, you are using your mind power, putting the uh, intention in the mind to do that. In intuition, you are a free, um, you are just accessing what is already there. 
So in intuition, you are recognizing it, acc accessing it. In sankalpa, you are acting a little bit. Gurudev, when we get intuitive and when we are answering a lot of questions regarding when lost things, we are finding the lost things or we are uh, diagnosing someone's health, are we coming from the spa same space as yours? And does faith play a big role in intuition? Yeah, yeah. You have to have faith in yourself, faith in the higher power. And when the subtler we go, we find there is no two, we are all one. मैं पिछले छह महीने से इंट्यूशन प्रोसेस का अभ्यास कर रहा हूँ मैं अपनी आंखों की पट्टी बांधकर बहुत कुछ नहीं कर पाता हमारे शिक्षक ने दो बार अभ्यास करने को कहा है पर समय के अभाव के कारण मैं एक ही बार कर पाता हूँ क्या मैं कुछ गलत कर रहा हूँ कृपया मार्गदर्शन नहीं, नहीं देखो समय का अभाव का ये सब बहाना नहीं बनाओ समय का अभाव से तुम भोजन छोड़ दोगे क्या एक भी दिन नहीं छोड़ते हो ये क्या दस मिनट लगता है भाई पाँच दस मिनट अपना रोज करो ना दो बार कर यदि तुम्हारा हो नहीं रहा है तुम अपना चाहते नहीं हो कि ये हो जाए तुम्हारे भीतर सच में चाहोटे मैं भी करूँ तुम देखते हो तुम्हारे सहेली लोग सखा लोग सब कर रहे हैं तो भी करो उससे तुम्हें क्या और चीज़ों में ज़्यादा दिलचस्पी ले रहे हो इसमें अरे ठीक है वो लोग सब कर रहे हैं मेरे को करना है नहीं करना है इस तरह से उसको ज़्यादा तुम प्रायोरिटी नहीं देते हो प्रामुख्यता जीवन में नहीं देते तो फिर वो कैसे आएगा किसी भी चीज़ को सीखना हो मान लो तुम गिटार सीखना चाहते हो उसमें अपना थोड़ा सा समय तो देना पड़ेगा कोई ये तो नहीं कहता मैं गिटार सीखना चाहता हूँ जी मैं समय नहीं दे पाता हूँ तब तो माने तुम नहीं सीखना चाहते हो इतना सीखने की इतनी प्यास है चाह है तो रात क्या दिन क्या कभी ना कभी सीख ही लोगे कोई शिक्षक है नहीं है तो भी सीख लोगे तुम हाँ भाई बहाना मत बनाओ देखो ये प्रज्ञा चक्षु हमारे अंदर की जो तीसरा नेत्र जागृत होने के लिए इतना आसान तरीका बताया तेरे को आप तुम लोग इसको सीखे और देखा भी है तुम्हारा हो भी रहा है तुम्हारे भीतर इसके लिए ज़्यादा कुछ करना भी नहीं पड़ता मगर इसको करते रहो और माता पिता भी इनको थोड़ा सा इंकरेज करो इनको करने के लिए बोलो अरे भाई बैठो करो उससे पहले नहीं तो बैठ के उनको कुछ तो बताए जाप करने के लिए बोलिए ओम नम शिवा बारो एक बार करो बैठ के एक माला दे दीजिए देखो एक सौ आठ करो क्यों जब जाप करते क्या होता है मन जो ज्वर ग्रह ग्रस्त है या मन जो विचलित है चंचल है वो थोड़ा ठंडा होने लगेगा मगज की गर्मी थोड़ा ठंडा होने लगेगा उसकी जो एक्टिविटी बहुत ज़्यादा हाइपर एक्टिविटी ना वो कम होने लगेगा बहुत आवश्यक है बच्चों को संगीत ये हाइपर एक्टिविटी चिल्ड्रन होते हैं ना इनको तुम वोकल म्यूजिक सिखाओ और दस बार सरी गम पदन ही सग्गा 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 मगर ही बोलने लगेंगे उसमें कुछ समझ में तो आता नहीं है वो तो है भी नहीं उसमें समझने का कुछ वो क्या करता है अपनी जो एक्टिविटी को स्लो डाउन करने लगता क्लासिकल म्यूजिक सिखाओ या कोई बाजा सिखाओ कुछ तो ये सब करने से इनकी रजोगुण थम जाएगा रजोगुण थमते ही फिर मन में अन जो है ना इंट्यूटिव एबिलिटी ये सब बढ़ने लगेगा और उनके व्यक्तित्व भी निखरेगा ये बहुत आवश्यक है बच्चों को हाँ गुरु जी हाउ इज टेलीकनीसिस related to intuition this related. is all see new words kinesis these are all words that it's all just play of words i would say consciousness or your mind has ability mind over matter is a fact and using that ability of the mind over matter utilizing or uh, allowing your mind to function 
from a different dimension is what it is. So you intend then, you know, you put the energy, because mind is nothing but energy. So through energy you can change another form of energy, that's it. And mind had to be like a laser beam, like focused energy. Otherwise usually mind is a scattered energy. And if it is focused, all this is possible. They can move the spoon, they can bend the spoon, uh, they can make the uh, flame fickle or be steady. All these things children do. These are all simple abilities. It's just one has to practice those things. See, we all have ten fingers. Everybody can play tabla, everybody can play guitar, everyone can play sitar, everyone can play flute. But we simply don't know because we are not used. If I hand over a flute to you and play flute, you will find it so difficult to hold the holes and then blow at the same time. And you don't know how you can make such a beautiful song that someone else who has practiced does it. Correct? I tell you, you play sitar, see, the other person is playing and you will struggle with it because you have never learnt, you have never practiced. So, practice brings these abilities to you. Walking on fire or doing all these, the so-called miracles is nothing but a practice, an exercise, a technique which you can learn, which you can train your mind to do those things. What is the difference between intuition and muscle memory? Are they complementary skills? If someone plays sport regularly, they develop muscle memory. What part intuition plays in this case? No, intuition goes much beyond muscle memory. Muscle memory is what your body has stored as memory. It should not be called as muscle memory. It's Every cell in your body stores memory. This is much beyond that. It is, as I said, it's uh, related to consciousness, which is beyond the, the body and muscular system. Nobody questions a beautiful gift. You have bestowed the gift of intuition for all these lovely children around us, around the world. Children are able to preempt what the teacher is going to ask. Youth are able to diagnose a patient as soon as he or she enters. Gurudev, what is you, Gurudev's vision for this intuitive generation? Where are you taking us? Are you taking us to a higher evolved civilization? Absolutely. This is... This will lead to a new generation of very conscious, awakened, enlightened people. Young people, they would uplift the whole society and we need, that's why we need to give this knowledge to more and more children around the world, yeah. So far we have developed, we have advanced in technology so much. The world has gone far um, advanced in technology. What we had missed is the technology of consciousness. So this is the technology of consciousness. You developed the technology of material world, but now you have to develop the technology of inner abilities, your, con your own consciousness. And that's where we are heading to now. Thank you.